that I will faithfully execute. The Office of President of the United States. The Office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. The whole world watching as he lays his left hand on top of two Bibles. Donald Trump repeats the oath of office to become the 45th President of the United States. Hello and welcome to this week's Council Bluffs News. I'm Aaron Zach. It'll be one for the history books as a businessman and non-politician takes over the Oval Office January 20th. Local reaction now of the inauguration. Money, however, a proclamation from the newly appointed President of the United States. Because today we are not merely transferring power from one administration to another or from one party to another, but we are transferring power from Washington, D.C., and giving it back to you, the people. Locally, some celebrate the historic inauguration. I think it's one of the greatest days of my life, to tell you the truth. Others cautiously await the new moves of the new commander-in-chief. I think he deserves a fair chance to, to at least see what he's going to do. Donald John Trump is sworn into office January 20th with a career background unlike any other president in history. He's a businessman, and that's something that the White House is not used to. You know, he's one of the only business people that's never been in politics and now he's stepping foot into that you know portion of uh, his business and I think he being a businessman he will get things done. Pottawatomie County Democrat Party Chair Linda Nelson congratulates Trump but hopes future decisions are fair for all. Well we are asking you know the new administration the President Trump and the re new Republican majority that uh, as they move forward, that uh, they not use their governing powers to implement extreme um, policies that divide our country. And at least on day one, that promise is being delivered. We, the citizens of America, are now joined in a great national effort to rebuild our country and restore its promise for all of our people. Not surprisingly, Trump's acceptance speech garnered both praise and distaste. I was very receptive to his speech because, again, it was a lot about trying to, to bring back, I, what, again, the, the greatness that is defining America. I was really disappointed in his, his inaugural speech. I was hoping it would try to pull and bring the country together, but he just hit on the, on the divides. And the division is clear. The one thing everyone seems to agree on, unity is a great thing to hope for. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Um, my, my wife is liberal. I'm probably more in the middle, but more conservative. But, um, I, you know, I think people just need to relax a little bit and, and realize that we have more in common than we have different. One of the best things about this process is in four years, you can either give your stamp of approval for re-election or vote for a new president. The next election will take place in November of 2020.